The intense battle between Ron DeSantis and Disney kicked up another notch today, with Disney announcing it's abandoning plans for a billion-dollar office complex in Orlando, a project that would have brought 2,000 jobs to the state, many of them six figures. Today's move comes on the heels of Disney filing a lawsuit against the Florida governor and various officials for trying to end that special district, which essentially turned Disney World into a, largely its own county, giving the company major oversight in the area with regard to fire, policing, and more. The company now arguing that the special arrangement was nixed as retaliation against Disney for coming out in opposition to the Florida Parental Rights and Education Bill, known to its critics as Don't Say Gay. So this feud has gotten very messy and very expensive, but now with Florida residents feeling the impact potentially, and as Ron DeSantis reportedly set to announce his candidacy for president next week, it's worth asking, is this battle doing him any good? Now, in an email to employees, the company cited, quote, changing business conditions as a reason for scrapping the office complex, which is called the Lake Nona Town Center. But the New York Times reporting the dust up with DeSantis, quote, figured prominently in the decision to bail. In an investor's call last week, CEO of Disney Bob Iger made clear he viewed DeSantis' actions as vengeance and threatened to strike back. Well, this is plainly a matter of retaliation, while the rest of the the Florida special districts continue operating basically as they were. Um, and I think it's also important for us to say our primary goal has always been to be able to continue to do exactly what we've been doing there, which is investing in Florida. We're proud of the tourism industry that we created. And does the state want us to invest more, employ more people, and pay more taxes or not? That's true. Disney's been in cost-cutting mode. Iger telling investors earlier this year he planned to cut $5.5 billion and following through by, among other things, carrying out massive layoffs at ESPN, one of Disney's most high-profile properties. The DeSantis camp now arguing that belt tightening was the real reason Disney scrapped the complex. Quote, Disney announced the possibility of a Lake Nona campus nearly two years ago. Nothing ever came of the project. The state was unsure whether it would come to fruition, given the company's financial straits, falling market cap, and declining stock price. It's unsurprising that they would restructure their business operations and cancel unsuccessful ventures. Former President Trump coming out against his presumed 2024 rival today with the campaign's official account tweeting, quote, Ron DeSanctimonious gets caught in the mousetrap. The culture of losing continues. So what was the real reason behind this? And could this end up being bad politics for DeSantis? Let's ask Sarah Rumpf, contributing editor for Mediate.com, which I founded, a Florida-based legal commentator who's extensively covered the feud. Thanks very much for coming on the program. Appreciate it. What do you make of DeSantis's claim that this wasn't <laughs> Disney fighting back against them, but just cost-cutting? Well, it's a flat-out lie. Um, I spoke with several of my sources this afternoon, and again, I, I'm an Orlando native. All of us know people in Disney's orbit, and it's really not hard to hear the chatter. And what my reporting confirmed, the New York Times reporting, this was not the only reason, but it was definitely a factor. The governor has sent a message to Disney and other corporations that it is not the business-friendly climate that he's been marketing it as. Um, you know, that was his whole game plan that he kept the state open during COVID and he was the business friendly governor. But the, the insane way that this feud has ratcheted, which, as we've discussed before, was over one press release mildly criticizing a bill that included no actual action. And we've now got two lawsuits pending, these ongoing actions. And, you know, it, you, you, when you're trying to make business decisions and you've got a state government that is openly hostile. Well, let me ask you, um, I, I've, got yeah. 30, I've got 30 seconds. Um, he's obviously doing this because he thinks it's a good political move. You followed his career in, in Florida politics. You were long involved in Republican politics. Um, what do you make of this as a political matter? 20 seconds. It's it's not it's not a good political move. His his message was that he was smarter and less drama than Trump, but he keeps getting schooled. I mean, the the plans for this complex were in the Orlando City <clears throat> records in, right. in public minutes from March 9th. And this is a so, messy, messy thing. And and Trump is making a joke of it. Sarah, Rump, He's playing right th into his th hands. Thank you. I'm sorry to cut you off. That does it for us tonight. Banfield starts now. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find News Nation on your cable provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.